Hey guys, Cindy over here with Mercy Endeavors. How are you doing today? I'm doing okay. Um, this is this video is going to be for Art Joy of Sharing, and I have to tell you, I've been having a hard time putting out videos lately. Um, yes, I've been doing design teams, I've been doing that kind of thing, but just creating for me, I'm having a hard time, and I'll tell you why. I love grabbing glue, um, but it's not something I want to do all the time. I um, enjoy just making journal pages those are kind of cool too I mean I'll do those you know off and on I have other things that I like to do but something in me right now is changing and I keep going back to this book I love this book if you ever want any inspiration this is called the world of artists journal and it's done by Dawn Devery's Sokol S-O-K-O-L um, this is just amazing this book is I've showed it to other people before I have another video on it and this book is just amazing because it shares all kinds of artists and their styles, right? So I've been looking through this. I look through it quite often for inspiration. And like I said, the normal journal pages, um, you know, I get. Um, I do them my way. I don't do them like this. But, you know, we all have our own style, right? So I'm getting tired of doing journal pages. That sounds awful, but I am. So I sat down and I started looking through this book. Um, this was the first page that I come to that I thought was really cool. And this is done by Julie Hamilton out of Whistler, British Columbia, Canada. This right here caught my eye. And the reason being, it's only done in black pen. It's done like in a micron pen or mic mic micro pen. Bear with me. Fibro fog's kill fibro fog is killing me today. Um, but I saw this and I thought, you know, this is really cool. She's got her little layers of earth here, mushrooms, a bunch of different trees. Um, but she also talks about, she's a happy camper, the sun, rain, living in the wildlife, bliss. I just kind of like this. I thought this was kind of cool. So I like that style. Is that something I'm going to automatically get into? Absolutely not, because I don't doodle like that. I don't art like that, right? So then I kept looking. And I saw this page. This is done by Tammy Murdoch, again, out of British Columbia, Canada. Um, this spoke to me. I don't know why, but it has. I love the idea she's drawn all these little kitty cats in different, you know, ways and styles in the background. She has used paint over top of it. She's used a little bit of gesso, a bunch of ink here. Um, and then she put down this little washi, which you can see the washi, which I love my washi. This little sticker um, looks like a die, um, kitty cats and four and four. Um, and she just kind of, she put on here, draw like a, th uh, draw like a kid, um, cry with happiness, breathe brave, climb out of the box, that kind of stuff. But I just love this overall composition. I thought it was really cool. So I got thinking. Here is another one. This one here is done by Christine Clemenson in Copenhagen, Denmark. I love this. And the reason, let me bring you guys down and see if you can see it better. Right here. I love this because you see what's behind it? There's all kinds of journaling behind this. And I thought to myself, I really like that. I love the fact that this has got a map behind it. I love the fact that she actually sat down and journaled. And then started making an art journal page out of it um, using, you know, washi tapes, a little sticker, um, looks like a bunch of money or a piece of money. Um, and she just created this whole piece that also gives her all this journaling in the background. And I have to tell you, when you journal like this and if you do put something over top of it, you remember what you're going through. You'll look at that page and you'll be like, oh yeah, I remember that. We went blah, 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 or we did, da, 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 or this is how I was feeling. So I thought that was really cool. <clears throat> um, a lot of these, again, art journal pages. They're all good and fine. Just art journal pages, right? This one's kind of cool. She draws this little lady in a bunch of different ways. Um, just kind of neat, right? To me, this one here looks very free. This one, whoops, sorry guys. This one right here just looks very free to me. Again, journaling behind. So I'm journaling on top, but journaling behind. This kind of a picture here. She used gesso, black ink, 
you know, the yellows, mark making, and it just, this intrigues me. I like this. So let me see what else I have. There's those ladies I was talking about. I don't know if you saw them or not. I'm bringing back out just a touch. Don't want to make you seasick. Um, let's see. Again, just more journal pages to me. I mean, I understand they have meaning to other people, but when I see them, I look at them as journal pages. Now, this I thought was kind of cool, but this is something that I can't do. Well, I can't say I can't do it. I could if I really practiced it, but it's not something I'm really interested in doing. <laughs> um, this is actually a planner. And to Thursday on January 15th, she had sibling yoga. So she drew these things and she says, Martine accompanied me to something yoga tonight. It was fun doing yoga together. And the life of Pi. And she, she does these little drawings on these days. And it tells her where she's been at, you know, what she's been doing. It's kind of cool. I like that. I think that's a very neat way to journal your life. Anyways, let's get move on. Um, this one here I thought was really cool. Again, there's a lot going on in the background that you can see bits and pieces of. You see these angels here all in a row, and yet she's covered them up, but they're still there enough so that you can see them, and it's just kind of intriguing. So I love this. I'm, I'm loving the layers of stuff, right? And then here's another one. Um, this whole spread is done with, like, leftover paints and just layer on top of layer on top of layer. Does it look, to me, kind of messy? Yes, but I'm liking that. I'm liking that. I'm liking this free form of it. Not everything has to be a perfect picture. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle or a perfect square. Um, this is just, like, to me, looks very freeing, right? So this is what I'm getting excited about. That's why I'm showing you this, this guys, um, because this month is all about getting excited, right? Let's see. Um, just a bunch. See, like here, look at this. They all have their own purpose. There's nothing that's hidden in the background on this page. It's all up front, and you see everything. This is a, a typical journal page as far as the way I look at it. Same here. This is a typical journal page. I want something different. I'm looking for something where, you know, I can see something, but I can't see it. This one right here, you know there's so much other going on below this. Here's the map, yes, but there's all this stuff on top. To me, it's just really, really cool. So what I'm seeing is I'm seeing my art shift going from this kind, this is what I do in my personal journaling, I have pages like this, where, um, you know, I have went and done and I've got cards and I've got, you know, ephemera and whatever, and I put them in and I do some journaling. So these are my typical private journal pages right here. This is what I like to do. But this page, again, this page has so much behind there. I mean, there's a piece of, it looks like little ribbon, and yet she's still painted over it. Um, a little piece with a tree here, maybe washi tape. It's just, there's so much in the background. I want to learn how to do it with the stuff in the background, yet you can still see parts of it, and yet you still have a figure on top, and here's a heart. I mean, it, to me, it's just very intriguing, okay? Um, let me bring you out a little bit more. I am self-taught, so in other words, I just do what I think is kind of cool to do. Um, I've never sat down and had somebody tell me, okay, you, this is this, this step, that step, blah, blah, blah. I wouldn't do it that way anyways. I want to do it my, <laughs> my way. Does that sound right? <laughs> um, you know, we all do it our own way. But I'm seeing things in here that are showing me that my art needs to change. Not completely. Don't get me wrong. I'll still be doing art journal pages. But... There's something in me telling me that I need to go deeper. I need to go deeper into this art and I need to see those layers and I need to be able to cover up the things that I want to cover up and yet have them still be there and be seen. Does that make any sense? I hope I'm not sounding crazy. Like this, to me, yeah, there's a lot of color on here. This is great. That's a really cool drawing of this lady. Um, you know, but... It, to me, it's a journal page. I don't see a lot of layers in this. 
I think what I'm going for is a, do I want to say a white out look? Because I like to see the white. Um, I got another thing in here, a couple of them. Um, here's one, hang on. Like this, I mean, this is kind of different. Um, you know, look at this. There's whole bunches of going on in here, but then there's the journaling. And this is what I want to start doing. Um, I'm finding that, look at this. There's so many layers on here. You can see the white in the background. You can see the color. You can see the, some of the butterflies that are there. Um, you can see where these, you know, circles were and then they were, you know, colored around. It's just, to me, I'm seeing all these different layers and I love it. So, as you guys have seen, I haven't been putting out a lot of videos lately because I just, I'm in that change mode. I don't want to do the same thing over and over again. I want to do something different. This I would love to do. I, I do not have the talent to do this. Um, I could try, but I think it would look really atrocious. So, uh, that's something maybe someday I'll do. This page here... I'm bookmarking these with all these uh, colored stuff. This page here kind of intrigued me, and what intrigued me about it is there's so much going on. Some of it's hand um, drawn, um, creative flow, uh, surrealistic world, and imaginary. And I just can't. Can anyone tell? Oh, can anyone telephone me? I mean, just a little bit of journaling, and yet there's all this odds and ends going on. I think that's cool, but that's not really what I'm leaning toward right now. I'm leaning toward more of this. These, these really intrigue me. Um, it looks like this was done in an old book, which is fine. Um, I'm actually going to start a new journal, and this is a Dilutions Diane Reevely journal. It's the small one. Um, I think it's like five by seven. Something like that. It uh, doesn't say. Um, but yeah, this is a small Dilutions journal. I really love these journals because they take a lot of um, beatings. So let me just take this apart. Um, if you haven't tried one of these, you know, and you're a mixed media artist, you really need to try it. They're a lot of fun. At least to me. Some people don't like them. I'm a fan of them. I love the fact that A they'll open up flat. I love that. Um, the paper weight is, to me, very good. I put a lot of liquid white, you know, um, water to these pages. I've never had an issue. But yeah, so this is the book that I'm going to be using. And what I'm going to try to do is start doing this type of journaling and yet doing art over it. Right? So, um, I know, I hope this isn't very long. I don't know how long it is right now, but um, just to make this short and sweet, if you're out there and you're getting, bored is not the right word, if you're getting just kind of discouraged about, uh, I don't want to do the same thing over and over again, and maybe I can do something different in art, um, find a book like this, or go on Pinterest, or you know, check online anywhere and look at other artists' work. And it doesn't mean that you have to copy their work, but what it means is they can give you inspiration to create your own style, not mimicking them, but giving an idea of the style for this, uh, or giving you a, an idea of a different style to start working with. And like I said, I'm really excited about this. Um, I'm going to do it. I'm not going to do a video right now because I, I don't have the time. But I wanted to give you guys an idea of what was going on with me, what was getting exciting, um, what, where I'm going. Uh, yeah, I just I want to do something different. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below and I definitely will answer them. Again, if you feel like you're stuck in that rut in your art, uh, look somewhere else. Look for other inspiration. And that's why I love this book so much is there's so many different styles in here. There's different ideas of things in here. I like this. Um, this is actually each day. She's got the dates. Day one, two, three, four. And she's done something different with them on every day. 
So this is kind of cool too. Um, I like that. Here, I love it. It's watercolor in the background. We have washi on top, which really doesn't serve any purpose, but I like it. And then you've got this little drawing and all of this journaling. So that, like I said, this is what's really intriguing me. Um, check out this book. I absolutely love it. I just, it's one of the best investments I've ever made. Um, this was 25 bucks. I can tell you I didn't pay 25 bucks for it. I always go on some type of a used book site and uh, look for used books. Um, and again, this one was in perfect condition, so, and it was used. All right, guys, don't forget to have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.